Immediately, I thought of having seen Dominic. Ever since that moment, I have debated whether to tell them. Would Mama be happy that I had seen him or sad because she had not? I didn't know the answer to those questions, but I, I was certain of one thing. If either Mama or Fritz had been the one to see Dominic, I would want them to tell me. I hesitated a moment. Then, in only a whisper, I said, I saw Dom this morning. The room became still as a grave, and I almost wondered if Mama thought that's where I, I said he was. Shouldn't she be asking how he looked, whether Papa was with him, and how I had felt in that moment? But the stiff voice, she only asked, where? On my way to school, on one of the platforms in the West. I think he was waiting for me. He knew I would be there. Mama frowned, and the lines in her face deepened. We've talked about this before. You shouldn't be looking over the wall. If the Gringers caught you, one had. I still got a pit in my stomach when I thought about Mueller's rifle against my cheek, but I certainly couldn't tell her that. Instead, I faced her scolding with my own anger. We wouldn't have to worry about the Grinzers if you would let us leave with Papa that night. It wasn't the first time we'd had this fight. We all want to be together again. Mama's voice was tired, but it's not possible. You know that. Yes, I did. Some days all I thought about was ways to get my father back here or how we might get over to him and Dominic, but never once could I come up with an answer. The wall was larger, stronger, and far more deadly than anyone my age could challenge. I hated that wall and resented my mother every time she tried to make me accept it. Did you hear me? I almost shouted now, but that was but that was better than tears. I saw Dom today, your son. Fritz tried to call me Gerda. You don't, but it was too late. I slammed my fork down on the table and ran to my room. My father would have understood why I waved at Dominic, but mother didn't. Sometimes I thought she was just like everyone else here blind to the fact that there was an entire world out there beyond the wall. Maybe Mama no longer cared about Papa and Dominic or had forgotten them entirely. I never would. Chapter six. It was a Beatles night tonight. Fritz laid on his bed, staring at the ceiling while I sat cross-legged on the floor with a book I had given up on reading. In the background, John Lennon harmonized with Paul McCartney as they sang philosophies of love, of love in a language I barely understood. If it weren't for the Beatles, I wouldn't have known any English at all. For me, it's the lyrics. Fritz had taken the English course in school and spoke it much better than I did. The things they write could never be played here. Of course not, I said with a smile. It'd corrupt us. Personally, I preferred the tunes, although most, mostly I liked the Beatles simply because we weren't supposed to like them or, for that matter, even know about them. But all the kids did, Fritz's friends especially. The boys smuggled in the albums we weren't supposed to have and pictures of shiny Ford Mustangs we'd never own. And the girls got fashion magazines and colorful beaded necklaces to hide under their mattresses. Even though she never stopped, Fritz and it wouldn't turn, even though she never stopped Fritz and wouldn't turn anyone in, Mama disapproved. She wanted us to buy the, the censored albums instead, but that missed the whole point of rock and roll. Nobody wanted approved music. I wonder if Mama maybe wasn't angry and then I had seen that I had seen Dominic. Maybe it made her sad because nothing she could do would bring him home again. I never should have told her about Dom at, sup at supper. I never should have yelled. Fritz must have been thinking about that too. Mama loves him as much as you do, Gerda. She misses them so much it hurts her to talk about them. You can't be angry with her as fa that father is gone. He was right, of course. I didn't want to be angry, but sometimes it was the only emotion I understood. I missed my father singing to me at bedtime and the earthy smell of his coat before he left for work each morning. Sometimes he snuck a kiss from my mother when he thought no one was looking, and it always made me giggle. I never, I even missed Dominic, the way he used to tease me and hide my dolls and jump out from behind corners to scare me. 
Those were good memories now. Our family was like a house of cards in a stiff wind. And when it became too much to feel the pain of our collapse, all I could do was become angry.